In this video, I'll show you how I made this no-sew tulle tutu skirt. This tutu is perfect for photos or dress-up play. I used it as a photo prop in my daughter's one month milestone photos, but you can make this in any size by adjusting the measurements. This project comes together fast with just a few items. Scissors, elastic, tool, and either a single safety pin or thread. You'll need a package of elastic. I used a half inch wide scrap piece of white elastic that I had lying around. You'll also need tulle, a netting-like fabric. The six inch wide pre-cut rolls that you can find on Amazon would be perfect and convenient, but you can also use tulle yardage like I did and cut it down to six inch wide strips. If you want this project to be truly no sew, you can use a safety pin to close your waistband, but alternatively, you can use a needle and thread or a sewing machine to tack the elastic for extra security. For the length of the elastic needed, take the waist measurement and add a half inch. For the amount of tool needed, it's a little more complicated to calculate, but let's try to estimate as best we can following these steps. To determine the tool length, first decide how long you want the skirt to be, then multiply the measurement by two, then add two inches. This will be our tool length measurement. To determine the number of bunches, we'll be creating bunches of tool around the elastic and each bunch will take up approximately one inch of space. So the waist measurement should correspond to the number of bunches we'll attach to the elastic. So how much do we need? We'll be layering three pieces of tool in each bunch. Multiply the tool length measurement by the number of bunches, then multiply that by three. Divide the number of inches by 36 to determine the number of yards of 6 inch tool you'll need to purchase. That will be the approximate yardage you'll need. However, you may want to buy extra just in case since this is just a guesstimate. Since I'm making an infant sized tutu for a 14 inch waist with a 4 inch tutu length, in my scenario my math worked out like this. That's 10 times 14 times 3 equals 420 inches of required tool. In my case, 11.66 yards rounded up to 12 yards. Now that we have our supplies, let's make the tutu. If you need help finding the supplies, please check out the description for links to the Amazon products. Prepare the elastic. Start by cutting the length of elastic to the waist size plus half an inch. Form the elastic into a circle to create the waistband of the tutu. Overlap the ends by half an inch. For the truly no-sew variation of this project, use a safety pin to hold the ends in place. If you have thread, you can either hand sew or machine sew over the overlap instead. You can make a simple line of stitches or a box with an X in it. This will be the only sewing in this project. From here on out, no sewing. Prepare the tool. If your tool is full width yardage, start by cutting the fabric into six inch strips, either with scissors or a rotary cutter and mat if you have one. Don't stress about being super precise. Let's make a cutting template to make cutting all the tool pieces super simple. Get a piece of cardboard from your recycle pile and cut a rectangle that it's at least six inches tall and the desired length of your tutu plus one inch. Wind the six inch tool around the cardboard, making as many layers as you think that your scissors can handle. Your mileage will vary. Cut down one side of the cardboard template. Do not cut the other side. You'll end up with pieces of tool that are six inches by your calculated tool length measurement. There may be a little variation in lengths, but it will be negligible when you put the skirt together. Attach the tool to the band. Take three pieces of tool and layer them like a cake. Bunch them up into a single, thin strip and shape it into a horseshoe shape.
Tuck the tool behind the elastic so that there is a loop above the elastic and two tails hanging down behind it. Next, take the two tails of the tool and bring it up over the elastic and through the loop. Then you can fluff the layers a bit to your desired fullness. Repeat until you cover your elastic. Now you'll notice that I stretch my elastic around a cookie jar to help make attaching the tool easier for you guys to see while I use the tripod. I thought that when I would remove the true tool elastic from the cookie jar that the elastic would snap back into place to its original 14 inch size that I cut. However, the elastic stretched out a bit more permanently than I liked, probably because the jar was a bit larger than the waist circumference. Since my tutu was for an infant photo session, it didn't really matter that the tutu was too large since I could just tuck it around her. It's not like she was standing around and having it fall down. After the photo session, I ended up removing a few bunches of tulle and then I cut away the excess elastic to return it back to the desired 14 inch waist size. My recommendation would be to not stretch it around an object like I did here. If it weren't quarantine 2020 time, I would have replaced the elastic and retied the tulle in place, but this was literally the only piece of white elastic I had in my house, so I had to make do. I have tons of black elastic. You can see that the tutu comes together quite quickly. It'd be easy to make tutus in a variety of colors for costumes or holiday photos. I hope that you liked this video as much as I liked making the tutu. If you give this project a try, please let me know in the comments. Please subscribe to my channel for more crafting and sewing tutorials. This is Craftcore signing off. See you next time.